Hey everybody, it's Audrey here. So it is all about October right now. And in October, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Allie, honey, be careful. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So October is pink. And to me, it's always been pink because I am a huge supporter and I'm very passionate about spreading the word of breast cancer awareness throughout October. So I am encouraging as some fashion advice throughout October to wear some pink. Alex, we're going to get some pink on you. You don't have any pink on today, do you? No, I have all blue. You have all blue. So we're going to get some pink on you. And, you know, this is the reason why I wanted Fine, to I'll start. Oh, go get some pink. This is the reason why I wanted to start wearing pink throughout October because it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I do know that, you know, wearing pink every single day isn't changing lives. I, I realize that. But, you know, I think... The importance of Breast Cancer Awareness Month is all about the support and spreading the message and doing what you can to spread the awareness. And you know, last October I did this and I did it all 31 days. And I can't tell you how, you know, remarkable it was, I guess is the best way to put it, in being able to wear pink. And I had done the Estee Lauder campaign last year with my mom and my sister. So, you know, we were obviously talking about it a ton of mom generations because of that ad campaign. And I wanted to continue this this year because when I did wear pink last October, you know, people would, you know, they mentioned, hey, you know, that's such a pretty top or that's a pretty necklace because it was pink. And it allowed me the opportunity to spread awareness that way, let them know why I was wearing pink, what the importance of the pink was. And you know what, men... My guys are going to start wearing pink too. My, you know, obviously I do it all the time, but men and women, I encourage everybody to do this. It doesn't have to be a pink top or, you know, here I have a pink scarf on today. It can be as simple as wearing that symbolic pink ribbon. You know, it speaks volumes. And really, October, we're going to do what we can, spread the message. I know a lot of women that are going to be walking 5Ks. I'm going to be doing one on October 30th. And, you know, it just for me, it's all about doing what I can in small ways and hoping that they have a ripple effect. So wear your pink, grab it, put it on out. Be proud with your pink and share with me when you're wearing it because I'm going to be checking in throughout the month of October. And Alexander, you find some pink yet? Um, He's looking for his pink. I'm going to go help him grab some pink. So good luck, everybody. Let me know how it goes and keep checking on in to see how. Um, pink. What? Pink. Okay, he's got it. Where's your pink? Come down and show me. There's only a teeny bit. That's okay. You know, as long as it's, it's some pink, we're good. Come on down. Let me see. I see khaki shoes. I see blue shorts. Let me see. And brown. A brown shirt. Shoes. Brown shoes. You coming? Yeah. Let me see. I can help you with that shirt. I'm wearing three shirts. Okay, well, maybe that's the problem. Come on down. Show me where the pink is. Oh, it's right on the SpongeBob? Yeah. Okay, fun. come on down. Show me. Quick, quick, quick. Nice and careful. Here we go. Show the camera your pink. It's okay if it's not on all the way. Oh, I see it. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Where is it? Okay, that definitely counts as pink. SpongeBob has a pink tongue. There's your pink. Let me see. All right, you got it on, buddy boy. High five. Oh, yeah. I can't believe I'm wearing pink shirts. I mean, I mean, free shirts. I know, I can't even. 